gospel. What is the gospel? What does the Bible have to say about the gospel? What does God have to say about the gospel? What is that gospel message? Let's look at Romans chapter 1 verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jewish first and also to the Greek. Gospel is the power of God unto salvation. If you're looking for power, if you're looking for that dynamite power to experience God in a real way, that is in the gospel, the message of Christ. What is the message of Christ? That he loves you, that he became sin for you, that he took everything that you feel like you don't have, that infirmity, in any infirmities, any lack, any anything that you don't think you measure up to, he took all that for you and met that requirement on that cross. You know, that gospel changes people's life. I got an opportunity last week to share the gospel with the senior management team. I, with one, one particular person in the senior management team. God said, speak to her, tell her about me. Let her know that I love her. I'll be honest with you, I was a little hesitant. I wasn't sure how that was gonna roll out, how I was gonna share that gospel with her. Then we got an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. I got an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. And while we spoke, I just went to her and I said, you know, God loves you so much. He loves you so much that even if you are the only person on this earth, he will die on the cross for you. He will come to earth, take your place, become you and die on the cross for you because you are so special to him. You are so special that he became sin for you. He became sickness for you. He became that lack that you might not have, the skill that you might think that you don't have. He became all of that for you. He came poverty, poverty for you. He took every lack that you could imagine, think of. He became that for you and he took it on that cross so that now he can become, you and I can become him so that he is one with us. And you know, when I was sharing that gospel and just telling her that God loves you so much, that he cares about you, all of a sudden she is tearing up and she is so moved by that word and the Holy Spirit just worked in her heart. And she said, your word has just transformed my life. Your word has changed me and it touched me and it does not go idle. I was so blessed and I was so encouraged that day to know that I was able to share that good news and impart the power of God into her life. And I want to share that message with you today to know that the gospel works for you in any situation you are in right now, any circumstance that looks so much challenging, bow down to God and ask Jesus to come into your heart and he will transform you and give you hope and joy and peace. Peace that's not of this world, but a peace that is from him that just surpasses all your understanding and gives you a calmness that you cannot even imagine. It's such a joy to be in Jesus, and I trust that you will be able to experience it. If you want to learn more about Jesus, connect with us. Go online with us and reach out to us, and we will love to share that gospel truth, how it can transform you from darkness into light. We love you. Stay blessed.